welcome to the Macha Men podcast. This is uh, late. Yeah, this is we supposed to okay lah. We supposed to do this a long time ago. You know, I've never apologized for episodes coming out late. Yeah, but I think we have to lah. I think this time, you know what? We are sorry. We are very sorry that you all keep asking us <laughs> when the new podcast coming. I mean, we appreciate the death threats. We yeah. do. We really do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it shows lah. It shows how much they care. It's engagement. <laughs> <laughs> Any engagement is good engagement. Yeah, you know they, they, they say it's never bad publicity. Correct. Yeah. So look, listen. I want to say keep the death threats coming, but calm down, lah, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, okay. The most of the death threats is from me to Kavin only. <laughs> no, that one, that one, I'm you used to. You are taking a lot of space. <laughs> that one is I'm fine, lah, right. bro. It's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know you're too lazy to do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it took a while because you know we got shit to do, lah. Fuck you, lah. Ah, hey, you, hey, we're in a pandemic, lah. Hey, why you scolding them? Oh, sorry, you, uh, you usually <laughs> you on their side, no? So now they're gonna listen, and also now both these fuckers are abusing us, ah. <laughs> Also, we are in a pandemic, lah. Yeah, 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 and we got other things to do. Ah, uh, and like I, I said, like I keep telling, y'all want us to come out with episodes faster. Mm. You DM us uh, and let us come to your house and record. Exactly. Okay. The matcha men's biggest problem now is we don't have a venue, a location. Exactly. Everywhere we want to go, place shut down. Yeah. Place too expensive. Correct. Somebody got COVID. Yeah. You know, listen. Okay, you, 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 he refuses to come to my house too. Yeah, I, I, because apparently I, I live in Mordor. <clears throat> yeah, no, no, it's too far. Yeah, you have to you have to go through the spider's cave and all that. I don't drive anywhere where I have to go uphill. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why he hasn't been to Gunting. Yeah. <clears throat> have you been Gunting? Of course, I've been Gunting. Okay. I didn't drive lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, it, it becomes, you know what? I have a way to get past this. Okay. How? This. Is no longer okay. The matcha man. Oh, we're done, ah. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. What? We're done. We're done. Oh shit! But this is now. Ah. Uh-huh. The matcha man. Ah. Uh-huh. Season two. Oh, season two. Okay, so that's uh-huh. why we took so long. So uh-huh. you fuckers listening, y'all cannot complain. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. We took the break to update the show, upgrade the show, upgrade. So now we're back. You know what we upgraded? Ah. Uh-huh. Absolutely fucking nothing. N- n- nothing. In fact, <laughs> things were downgraded because we were having a lot of technical issues. <laughs> So we can't even bullshit y'all about that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, look, look, this is uh, yeah. the third time we're recording this. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're glad to be back. Uh, thank you all so much for your uh, scoldings. Scoldings. Yeah. Uh, My social media posts get people asking when's the next episode. Yeah, I know. I, I meet post... people at shows. They ask when's the next episode. Listen, I'm posting things that are completely nothing about Macha Man. Yeah. Right. I'm posting things about my show that yeah. I just did. I'm sorry, I shouted. That happened, you know, a couple of months ago. Mm. You know, a couple of weeks ago. Mm. And yeah, people are like, "Hey, congrats on the show! Now, when's the next episode?" Yeah, yeah. And I actually like it. I like that people come and ask us, "When the fuck are y'all? Like, why are y'all so lazy?" And I and I always give them a different answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, look. What was the last one? Look east. Ah, uh, look. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, look, look towards east <laughs> at dawn or some shit. I just always keep telling people, yes, "Why, why?" I say. Oh no, lah! I had to travel. Kavin had to travel. Oh no, we had some issues. Yeah, I just just tell them I'm dying. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna keep on telling people fake shit about no licensing. No, no. I keep I keep, whenever people ask me, right? Yeah. Uh, hey, how come you never do? I say no. Kiran is busy with his uh dialysis. Ah, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 and, yeah. And yeah, he, he, he can't. I mean, while doing dialysis is very difficult. You know, in between vomits. Hey, but then again, uh, uh, if 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 let's say I were I was going through dialysis, uh, he's not. Uh, by the way, just just so you all know, there was a joke about Kiran <laughs> yeah, we're gonna being get Indian, yeah, and diabetes being very prevalent in the Indian community. <laughs> Correct. I wow. I I like that you had to clarify that. Oh no, if not, we will get people like thoughts and prayers. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, what happened? The death threats will stop. Uh, a few fellows will be like, yeah, it's about time. <laughs> I, I like the way you're enthusiastic about the few fillers. Yeah, a few. Hey, my kidney is not that bad yet, now. Fuck. No, he tried to sell to get an iPhone. Could I it? Cannot. 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 <laughs> they, they rejected. No, they gave me a good offer on the third kidney. <laughs> <laughs> weird. That's very weird. You traded two kidneys to get one more. <laughs> to get one more, a better one. Both my kidneys so fucked up. I didn't trade in both to get one good one, ah. Uh. Uh, when you say good, it's I mean it's it's possible. But it's the refurb, lah. Uh, refurb, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, my kidney. 
So okay, so we'll start off with the season two of the Macha Man music. Ta da ta da da. Ah, there. Okay. I, I don't know. Okay, lah. Can. Can lah. You did the Brooklyn Nine Nine music. A bro. bit, lah, bro. I I know. I it started off something else in my head. Okay. It just came out like that. Okay, correct. And no, I, so I uh, guess the the thing for season two is we are even shittier than before, lah. So should I change the the change the, the change theme song? song or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll try, lah. No, you know because how mid season last season uh, last season we changed, lah. I know. Ah. No, we always change. Ah, okay. What I want to change is uh, the opening where we got Papi Zach's uh, voice. Ah. Let's purposely get somebody else to do it. Who? I anybody but okay, him. You, you, you try. Why? Oh. This is the Macha Man podcast. This is the Macha Man podcast. I'm going to use it. I, are you serious? <laughs> yes. Ah? No, uh, then I want to do it different. How can you do it different? Hey, it's the Macha Man podcast. Just listen. Okay, settle. I'm going to use it. I am going to use this. <laughs> If it's only for one episode, just fuck it. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Okay. okay. Uh, so okay, so the season two, uh, first matcha news. Correct. Uh, the first matcha news of season two, and like I said, season two is going to be different. It's going to be better. So we're doing a news from the Malay Mail. Malay Mail. Our Malay Mail. Yeah. Wow, you coming close to home, ah? Huh? Not I... even the land of matchas. No, no, because. Finally, we got some stupid fucking news, and of course, it'll be from Malay Mail. Yeah, okay. I mean, look, it, it still be the land of Machas if yes. if this news is from Bangsa. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Bangsa is our homeland, bro. Yeah, okay. The our homeland, ah, <laughs> uh. our promised land. You know, yeah. when when God, the Hindu God, whichever, uh, listen, pick one. Take your pick. Yeah. Uh, uh, came down and said, you know, the the. Indian shall inherit the earth. Sure. He was talking about Bangsa. Never once said that, but okay. No, ah. No. He said it in Tamil, lah. No, no. He maybe didn't. you misunderstood. No, no. no. <laughs> I, no one would have. Okay. The world, the Hindu world, would be very different <laughs> if any god said that. Ah. <laughs> the reason Hindus don't cause a lot of problems in the world on a global scale uh. is precisely because no one said shit like that. You understand what I'm saying, right? Even the Hindu god came out and said, "Like, guys, yeah, just can you relax? <laughs> just, just nothing will happen. Yeah, just uh, do your own. But you die, also you come out again. Yeah. It's okay, okay, it's fine. Just do your own thing. Uh. Don't cause a lot of problems. <laughs> okay, <laughs> make sure you cook enough rice." <laughs> Which is what this story is about. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Thai wife mm-hmm. shoots husband's penis with fishing harpoon. Listen, listen, listen. You can't start because mm. he didn't cook her dinner. You okay. listen, okay? You cannot just jump into the pool with your pants open like that. Hey, okay? man. Listen. We are. We are. The, you know, his his pants were not open, <laughs> and this still happened. That says a lot. Ah, about this woman aiming technique. Correct. Because his pants. I mean, I okay. I clearly don't know the story. Okay. But what in my head is this? This 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 woman mm-hmm. with a harpoon gun. Yes. Which is not small. Right? No, it's big. It, it's huge. Like, yeah. I mean, when you say huge, also it's like okay, lah, maximum crossbow. Yeah. Okay. So and she's just shooting this guy. I'm thinking maybe three four feet maximum. Okay. 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 So it's point blank. Yeah. Pants is still on, ah. Huh? And she shoots him, and he hits his cock. That is yes, that is the the Latin scientific name. Yes, the correct. medical term. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the full ah cuckoo chowers. Ah, cuckoo chowers caucus. Ah, cuckoo chowers caucus. Yes, ah. correct. <laughs> I dare you to fucking use that on stage the next. Okay, the next time we go, anytime we perform, you know what, I will. From you now know on, I will just do this stupid shit. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, from now on, anytime we perform, if we have to refer to the penis. The, we we keep doing this. As the Latin scientific name, the Cuckoo Chowers Caucus. Caucus, and we keep doing this as at many shows as possible <laughs> until it catches on, ah. Huh? Okay, and we see how long it takes for people to come and tell us, "Can you shut the fuck up?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, if you if you went to my show, mm. you will you will know that I didn't. Yeah, I know you didn't, fucker. <laughs> hey. I was busy sorting stuff out for season two. Okay, sorry, my bad. Sorry, but also the fact that I in that show would have been the perfect show because I talk a lot, a lot, a lot about my cuckoo chowers caucus. Sure, ah, uh, in that show, so it was it is basically dignified dick jokes. Dignified dick jokes. Okay. Uh. After this lah, uh, ah, okay. So you know, me and you, we go on tour lah. We do the show. The show is called Cuckoo Chowers Caucus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new comedy con. <laughs> 
no mau trilogi ya. Ah, no 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 no. It's okay. It's alright. It's fine. Ah, Jesus. A man from Buriram in Thailand had a painful punishment for not cooking dinner for his wife. The Malay male writing on this one. Brilliant. Ah. Right. According to Daily Star, angry wife Chanita Kuidrum shot her husband's manhood with a fishing harpoon. After he decided to go out for a drink with his friends instead of cooking her dinner, son of a, listen, <laughs> okay. First of all, okay, he instead of cooking her dinner, okay, that was the punishment. Yeah, like let's if he if he cheated on the wife, I'll be on her side. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just saying that the 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 punishment does not suit the crime. Eh, hey, she was hungry, lah. Oh. He told her, I'm Hashtag going to... hangry. Uh, hangry, <laughs> hangry. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. She was... This This. This is the worst case of hangry uh, in the world. This is... The worst reported case of hangry. Uh. This is the epitome. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Thank you very much. Uh, of, of, the, of the hashtag hangry. Yes. Yes. I'm sure if you go on Twitter, you, you search hashtag hangry. This one will come out. No, this one will be like... like like the epitome, lah. Epitome, sorry. This will be pinned Pin, on Twitter. Uh, pin. <laughs> Twitter pinned it, no. Twitter pinned it, yeah, 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 yeah. No, she, she, you, you promise someone food and then you don't cook. Listen, Ob- obviously the punishment is you can get your cock shot off, lah. No, dude, I just don't understand. Like, hey, you cook me dinner, or else you're gonna get your cock shot off. Yeah, with a harpoon. If every woman in Malaysia started doing this, uh-huh. men would start to behave, huh? <laughs> I think the 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 marriage rates will be going way down. Okay lah, which means people will be happy lah. <laughs> no, you know what? You make a good point. Am I wrong? You no know, no. You make a very good point. Yeah. Which I shall not argue. You because you can't be in an unha- uh, unhappy marriage if you're not married. If you're not in the marriage, yes, correct. No, a hundred percent. You can be unhappy being single. You can be unhappy in general. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but at least you won't be in an, uh, in an unhappy marriage. No, but. Okay, so she she wanted dinner. She wanted what dinner. could he have possibly promised her for dinner? Thai green curry, bro. <laughs> bro, I've had situation. No, have you had a Thai green curry so good that it's it, it's worth it to shoot your cock off for it? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's where? Why. Where? No, I, I saw it in Thailand. <laughs> okay, in Thailand. okay, fair enough. Yeah, I, I went with you at bastard. No, 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 I went. Oh, oh, different. Ah, different. Oh, different, uh, different oh you cheating on me, ah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> with the green card. <laughs> uh, the furious forty-three-year-old woman waited up for Bunchue Musiton mm-hmm. to teach him a painful lesson by shooting his crotch like a fish. I like the 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 flowery the yeah. the description the poetry in this writing like, nice. like shoot his penis off like a fish like a fish like a fi- and if you know what a harpoon looks like it's like it's curved on the end yeah so that when you shoot it and then you pull it out yeah you can't I'm glad you said that because the next sentence is gonna hurt huh? ah yeah Bunchue was quoted saying that his wife of 21 years 20 they've been married 21 years 21 years so she's oh. been waiting lah and he, you know Diffler he's seeing it coming you know yeah he's, he's he knows he married he, he done put, fucked up many <laughs> times before <laughs> Clearly, this is not the first time. Yeah, right. I mean, is it what this? We just want to know how many times has this happened yeah, for this? No way. This like, is, the first is it time. like a first warning, second warning, third warning, harpoon? Yeah. Or is it like you know, first warning harpoon, second warning, and then you know something worse? First warning harpoon, then second warning what bazooka? <laughs> the fucker don't cook again. Is cannon? Oh shit! It's gonna bring out a tank, bro. <laughs> Anti aircraft. Anti. <laughs> Fuck V2 rocket to his dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all never fucking. Oh just imagine. God. Just imagine he shoots him with a harpoon. <laughs> and, then, and then he's like, what the fuck? He's like, next time. Uh, you see the bazooka? Uh, you see? You see the bazooka? Uh, you see the RPG? <laughs> uh, you better cook a fucker. I, every day I, want be, I will be making a steak and fucking oh, mashed potatoes oh every day, la, dude. I should never have to worry about food in my life. <laughs> Was quoted as saying that his wife was 21 years, mm-hmm. then twisted the I, spear yeah. after shooting the base of his penis. It's like what? This is this is fucking like 
dirty hairy yes just like do you feel lucky huh yeah. uh, it, while twisting you know like you know when you when your mom used to twist your ears yeah. it, when you did something wrong or you correct who broke it who broke it ah, 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 she's ah, just twisting the the harpoon and ah why no cook dinner huh why what ah, no why? because she's asian so hundred, ah, don't cook la sama don't cook la don't cook la <laughs> you know right that shit <laughs> Uh, we always come now. Oh uh, right? yeah. And then and then what happened? The incident happened after Chanita returned home from work in the fields as a sugarcane collector. Ah uh, yeah. After a long day of work, she was expecting to see food on the table, but instead realized that her partner had gone out with pals to drink whiskey, forgetting to make his wife a meal. Okay, wait. First of all, listen. When I was listening to this, right, and some of the aiming of the harpoon. And stuff like that. I thought she's going to be like a military sniper. She might have been, you know. No, she's a sugar cane collector, lah, bro. No, that was now, lah. <laughs> oh, where? This is one of those, you know, those old school spy movies where, like, they were in the spy agency. Oh, she's ex CIA, ah. ah, she's ex whatever Thai <laughs> has for the CIA, lah. <laughs> CMA. <laughs> okay, it's fucking stupid, lah. <laughs> no, no, it's season two, can season two, we've lowered down. Ah. The threshold. Season two is the bars lower. The bars much hey, lower. Hey, let's come up with a poster. <laughs> Since we got the new episode, since the matcha man season two, the bar is lower. <laughs> And you know what's the best part? I have to do all this shit. Ah, uh, yeah, lah, correct. No, no, I'll. Uh... You do the poster, lah. Okay. <laughs> the bars lower. I will send you the Canva. <laughs> <laughs> That's as much as work as I'll do. Ah, uh. oh, fuck. You'll send me the words, lah. I'll send you the words. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It was then she decided to stay up for her husband to return home and teach him a life lesson. Listen, you want to teach a life lesson? There's so many ways to do it. Correct. You don't have to shoot his fucking cock off. Yeah. <laughs> no, listen. I know in the article nowhere did it say so far that it shot his cock off. Yeah. But if you shoot a harpoon. Yeah. On my, it's off, ah. Uh. It's off. It's off. It's off. It's off. There's not much there to <laughs> begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean? Exactly. And the harpoon would be like 80% percent of it gone. Yeah. Right. And yeah. At, at this point, 80% percent gone. You know what? Just take lah. Yeah. Just take. And for some people, the base of the penis is the penis. <laughs> so you got to no, be careful. No, it's pretty much. It's very much the penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the most important part of the penis, Correct. I would say. Correct. Because without the base, the tip won't be fucking hanging on. <laughs> yes. Yes, I agree. I agree to this. This 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 is um, a, a a hard lesson for this fucker to learn, lah. But you know what? All soft, all soft. Hey, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. The forty-five-year-old man was reportedly so drunk he did not seek medical attention until the next day. So he was sleeping in the house with a twisted harpoon in his cock until the next morning. Ah, uh. how drunk was he? Uh, like, how drunk do you have to be? So the fucker deserved it, right? No, 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 no. Okay, despite <laughs> I can you see? I am in two minds. Okay? Ah, I am coming into the light. Like, okay. listen, how drunk have you ever been? Yes. So drunk. Yeah. That someone shot a harpoon into your base of your penis. Okay. Or your cuckoo's caucus. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. And you are like. Ah, uh, sleep it off, lah. I have been hmm. very drunk, ah, uh? but not no one has tried to shoot me yet. Okay, I've been so drunk, I fell down, mm. cracked my skull, yeah, blood dripping down, yeah. I still went to hospital. Yeah, though. you would have the presence of mind to do that. No, lah, I didn't have the presence of mind. Just the clinic was next door. I see. So I just saw okay, lah, can they sewed me up, right? So which is fine. This fellow just decided, ah, you know what? I can sleep it off, lah. Yeah, la. I'll just sleep with the metal rod in my cock, lah. Just, yeah, it'll be like a kick. He can't even turn, you know. Cannot because the thing is, he has to sleep straight. <laughs> I mean, clearly the the wife went to sleep in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're not sleeping together after <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, like it's very difficult to sleep next to someone who shot me in the cock. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The cuckoo jaws cockers. The cuckoo jaws cockers with a fucking harpoon, lah. Yeah. La. Metal, no, right? Metal I harpoon. Think, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking now. Uh. <coughs> did she finally get her dinner? Or not? <laughs> That's all I'm worried about because mm. it says that uh, so he went to seek medical attention next day only. His penis eventually needed 17 stitches. One seven. One seven. Fuck! That's a lot of stitches. I huh? mean, I guess they saved it, lah. Listen, if you put 17 stitches on something, it's safe, lah. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I'm very sure. But it'll never be the same. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bun Chui, however, has decided. The alignment lari already, bro. Lari, lari bro. <laughs> bro, I, I'm very sure the next. No. Just imagine, right? While they're stitching it up, then suddenly, like, you know, a hot nurse walks by. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, quite nice, huh? And then he gets a hard on. Just all the stitches are. Tup, 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 one oh, by one. Dick falls off. <laughs> his daddy was hanging on by like a thread. A literal thread. <laughs> just just, just yeah. this, this. This nurse walks past. All you hear is. Doop. <laughs> What was that? Your penis fell down. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, la. I mean, sounds about right. La. <laughs> no, maybe that's why you only needed six stitches. Yeah. But after it fell down, then they ah, needed okay. another 11. They put another, okay, okay. <laughs> Boon Chui, however, has decided to stay away from home <laughs> until his wife cools down. I, You know what? I 100% agree right. with his actions. Of, look, he was he was of a sane mind. He was of the sane mind next year. Next, next day, day only. Yeah. Next, because he decided to stay away. Not fall asleep. With a fucking harpoon in your dick. How do you... Uh, he, he's, this story came out on March 7th. He's having a bad fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just going to say, like, there's nothing a, a weekend in Pattaya can help. But I think this might be it. Yeah, right? I think a uh, harpoon in your dick, nothing can help. <laughs> la. I think you, pre- I think you're pretty much down in the dumps, lah. His fucker now every day he's looking up recipes for his wife, ready, yeah. Every day he's looking up lawyers to divorce his yeah. wife, lah. Fuck dinner, bro. <laughs> Breakfast and lunch also food is going to be ready there. Like you go, no, no every day got buffet down. God, you go to the sugar cane, uh, do your sugar cane work and come back collect whatever different. you want. Ah, you'll bring different. I'll come and see you. I'll come and see you, please, huh? No ranged weapons after this. <laughs> Only close, oh, oh, only melee, <laughs> only melee weapons. Ah, <laughs> uh... fuck la. First episode after solo starting off so dumb. Really. Swords and parangs only. Ah, swords and parangs only. Easier to dodge. Isn't it like a like a restaurant in Bangsa? Swords and parangs only. Uh. no, no, no. There's one called swords and one called parangs. <laughs> <laughs> Both don't like each other. <laughs> one Punjabi club, one Tamil club. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I've been to Telawi lately. I saw, I saw there was one uh, Indian club. Yeah, which one? But it's called like something English, like very Zeus or some. I can't remember. It's in the front, the front. You know where the Irish pub used to be? The Irish pub, yeah. Uh, so it's there. It's down the road from. They say, but it's like. I can't remember what it's called. Is it Swanky? Uh? It yeah, look- Swanky. I think something like that. Is it but called it's Las Indian- Vegas? But it's an Indian pub. Yeah, la, but the, the, there's an Indian pub called Las Vegas. Why? Uh? I, I, because I, the Indian- I asked the same question. Because the Indian community in Las Vegas No, is- I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No, but it's blue color. And then it's like damn bright. But it looked like a proper like a English music, like EDM pub like that. Oh. But... First of all, all Indians. And then in fine print, it says Indian Club. Okay, it might be the... I I, I don't know. Maybe I it's Las Vegas know. Swanky or something. I don't know. But it's just there. And I'm like... No, no. Swanky is not the name. Oh, no. Huh? No, no, no. I just said it looked Swanky. Oh, it looks Swanky. Okay. <laughs> you actually thought the I name thought of the name. But, you know, but it looks damn... Like it looks... Is this all going in the fucking episode? Ah? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Las Vegas. Anyway, <laughs> people had to sit through three minutes of trying to figure out what the fuck which bar. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's do uh, this. To the story, back to the story. Yeah. Of the century, like okay, so I honestly I wanted to do this story a long time ago. Okay. Right, but because it happened, and uh, I no, never. Obviously, the story would have happened if it didn't happen. We have to have a story, right? It, no, it, and I wanted yeah. to do it. I just never found the right tone to do it in tone. Because it's a very sensitive story, right? Okay. And since we had the the anniversary anniversary okay, that okay. happened uh, yesterday, I think. What anniversary? MH370. Look, oh, we're doing this. Uh, we are doing this. We have to. We have to. The only reason is because, look, I have to put a, a disclaimer. disclaimer at the beginning that we are not making fun of the tragedy. Of course. The tragedy happened and it's very, very sad. Okay. However, the handling of the tragedy is a separate ah. matter altogether. Here we go. Okay. Because there's a lot of shit that happened. Okay. It, which it was, I don't know. Which yeah. I don't think a lot of people know. So. It, was, it was omitted from, from public record 
Oh, and um, also, there's a lot of things that are swept under the carpet. Shit. Right? But there's a lot of things you, you will know. There's some investigative journalism yes, in fact, shit happening. We got, we, we got an investigative journalist to do this. Yeah. In fact, this was written by uh, our good friend, uh, Rakib Karim. Okay. Who used to be a uh, sub-editor at The Star. Yeah. Now, fucker got fired. So, yeah. fuck the star. Yes, of course. I uh, mean, I think the people at the star also generally go to work saying fuck the star. Uh, correct, correct. So, uh, so he had time to, to help me with this. Okay. Right good. now, I have to warn you. It's a very long one. Right? Hey, 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 that's what she said. <laughs> Not the one who got shot in the... No no no, 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 no. It's a long one. So, this is going to be a three-parter. Oh my God. Yes. Wait, how much bullshit... Okay, you know what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't ask that question. Oof. Okay, okay, I'll strap myself in. Okay. Let's go. Let's okay. do this. So, July 31st, 1961. I'm sorry? You were starting there? There. Okay. Penang born, Zahari Ahmad Shah, right, was born to a poor family. All right. Now, he's the second youngest of nine siblings. Wow. <laughs> 60s, nothing much to do. Yeah, okay. 60s. That is, that's like a small family. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's the second of nine. Yeah. My, my father has eight siblings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your father? Uh, only three. My mom's side got nine on them. Ah, I see. My mom's side got five. Mm. Six. Six lah. Uh, okay. Wanting to fly since childhood, he eventually got a scholarship. After graduating from a Filipino flight academy in 1981. Okay. I did not know this was a thing, but okay. Yeah, no, apparently you have to... The, 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 the last test, you have to sing karaoke while flying. Okay, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes yeah. a more, much more sense. Yeah, you have to, no. Okay. Because, and also the, the fact that you, you know, your announcements, mm-hmm. uh, you have to make in a full singing octave. Like, you have to so do octaves. So, back then, if you couldn't sing, you cannot become a not in the Philippi- in, not, in not Philippines. Not in Philippines, yeah. Okay. In this Philippines okay. uh, flight academy. Okay, it's still there now, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the rule. Yeah. Uh, he would go on to work with Malaysia Airlines. Okay. Establishing a spotless record of 18,000 flight hours. Okay. Okay. Now, by age 53, Zahari was now a family man, married with three kids. He lived in a gated community owned and owned two houses. Okay. okay. So he's doing well for himself. La. Doing well. Now his interest in flying extended far past his job. His sister Sakina Shah said he often took his siblings to the park to fly remote control planes and had a simulator rig at home. Okay. I mean, I... Okay. This is... For someone who has hobbies. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, flying... Hey, look, have you ever flown a remote control plane? I have, I have. No, no, what I'm saying is <laughs> nice to know there are people like this around mm. who know one thing, like one thing, and only do that one yeah. thing. I mean, you fly a plane, but what's your hobbies? I fly smaller planes. I fly smaller planes. <laughs> hey, what do you want to do this weekend? Come go sit down and pretend we're flying a plane <laughs> in a simulator. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like, you know, we do comedy. Uh. What's your hobby? I do comedy. Is it? No, I, I do you? Do you have a hobby? I do. Yeah. I, I play games. I try to do as much non-comedy shit yeah. as much as I fucking hate comedy. <laughs> my hobby is accounting. <laughs> I go home and do accounts. Oh, accounts, yeah. <laughs> I do everything <laughs> else as much as I can. I don't want to do comedy when exactly. I'm not doing comedy. Uh, his... Guys, comedy sucks. <laughs> In his past time, he would show his he would show his home DIY projects on YouTube, okay, and share links to comedy shows. All right, well done. Okay, okay. So he would show people lah, yeah, like in his WhatsApp group. All hey, look, comedy. but it's specifically only airplane jokes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Very one track mind. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what about airplane peanuts? <laughs> it's just that. It's three videos. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, but but it's those three that yeah, he nah, sends yeah, to me. Yeah. It's just nothing but airplane jokes to everybody. I think, I think George Carlin had one whole special about airplanes. Right? He did? I think so. Oh, yes, I think so. <laughs> Can you imagine one guy saying, hey, hey, did you see this new comedy clip? And it's again <laughs> something about someone's experience at an airport, <laughs> airplane food, landing somewhere. <laughs> Uh, so he was also a competitive home cook. Home cook? Uh, what is competitive home cook? 
listen uh rakeb if you're listening to this what the fuck is a competitive i guess he compete in himself like a golf thing did he mean competent no 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 i am accepting this no competitive home cook means uh, in his gated community uh, he has cooking competitions <laughs> with all the other people there i i'm i'm assuming competitive home cook sounds fucking badass ah huh? no it, it look if if he was competent competent i would have read it as competent no it is competitive home cook i love it boasting about his nasi biryani okay you know this place not getting hapun the pop lah yeah i know yes okay uh sakina also mentioned his donating clothes and other goods to jungle villages okay that's nice nice yeah, nice chef yeah yeah he was also a member of pakatan harapan all right and a staunch supporter of anwar ibrahim okay this matters because On March eighth, two thousand fourteen. No, no. No, I like how news reports say shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like as though it's a it's a thing. Yeah, I guess we had get to know him a little bit. Okay, sure. So, He was a, okay, sure. On March eighth, two thousand fourteen, uh, at twelve twenty five a.m., Zahari would captain a flight from KLA to Beijing. Right. A daily passenger flight on Boeing seven 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 seven. Forty two minutes after the flight, the plane cleared off for takeoff. Mm. First mate Farik Abdul Hamid would be flying the plane at 27 years old things were looking up for him too okay now Farik the son of a high ranking official in the public works department in Selangor mm-hmm. joined Malaysia Airlines at the age of 20 that's very young yeah, yeah. i mean that's the normal age right? yeah okay Farik was set to be fully certified 777 pilot with over 2700 flight hours under his belt no but usually by that age he did he is young for this amount of experience right no no he, now he's 27 but he joined when he was oh, 20 okay, okay 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 so 7 years he had 2700 flight hours lah which is not bad uh, he also planned to marry another pilot from air asia mm. captain nadira ramli from okay. penampang sabah wow a daughter of Malaysian Airlines senior pilot and they met at a flight school in Langkawi. Okay. At least this one Langkawi. Okay, not, sure. This one, you, you didn't have to do karaoke while I'm flying. Just, to I'm just learning about flight schools now. I never knew there were all these. We have one in Klanajaya. No, no, that one I know. Uh-huh. That one I know. No, right? I, no, no, that's that's the students one. The academy? No, no. Uh, flight pilot school. school. Pilot school. Oh, no, they'll go there for a while and then they'll go somewhere else for... Langkawi. Uh, no, no. <laughs> okay. No, uh, Sure. Okay. Uh, and had been together ever since. So they've been uh, to, together for a while. I remember in like pilot school, like, hey, you're a pilot. I'm a pilot. Hey, hey bro, let's go for dinner. And then, yeah. like, you know, then the, always he asked the question of, uh, would you? Can I? No, would you shoot me in the cock uh, if no, I go? No, he didn't ask that at all. <laughs> no, no, you need to stop. Huh? <laughs> Read the story. Do you own a harpoon? <laughs> I thought you were going to do some stupid pun and like they met each other and like will you fly me to the moon or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah, okay, that, that would have. <laughs> yes, that would have made sense. Yeah. And you know me from season one, uh-huh. nothing, nothing, nothing makes sense. Nothing. On this flight, 10 crew members were on board. Okay. Uh, all Malaysian and there were 227 passengers. Okay. Most of the passengers were from China, mm-hmm. 38 from Malaysia, and the rest, uh, the rest were from in descending order: Indonesia, Australia, India, France, the USA, Iran, Ukraine, Canada, New Zealand, and the Netherlands. Okay. Russia, Taiwan. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so this made 239 souls on board, including yeah. the the crew. Yep. And the same. <clears throat> so the plane satellite communication terminal or SATCOM established a handshake. Handshake, handshake signal. Okay. With the ground station in Perth, as it flew over the South China Sea, all was normal. All right. Okay. Up in the cockpit that night, while Farik flew the airplane, Zahari handled handled the radios. Okay. He radioed that they had leveled off at thirty five thousand feet standard cruising altitude. Okay. At one o eight a.m., the flight headed in the direction of Vietnam. Okay. Zahari again reported to boat to the Boeing's level. Ah, uh, report reported the Boeing's level at thirty five thousand feet. All right. So, so he's just giving the stats, ah, the, stats the numbers, lah. Okay. So I look. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know how planes work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I till today I still think it's magic. No, it's God. Yeah. 
it is you believe in god that plane will take off no, i don't even think it's god i think it's some form of just magic no 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 you believe in god mm. the plane will take off if you don't it, it then the it fall off so that's how they land they slowly slightly stop so breathing. so so uh, for it to land properly uh, they will make an announcement uh, all of your next 5 minutes can you'll be at this no 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 not the uh, crew not the not the passengers the pilots oh 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 uh, so okay. first they sit there they pray and pray and pray they pray so hard that the plane will take off take off okay right? this this is how aeroplane to ah, work yes okay. and then they 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 reach the cruising altitude okay. right mm-hmm. then they pray slightly less so it doesn't okay. go up or down right okay so, you studied engineering you know you shouldn't be telling me this shit you no, should no, be fucking how. okay and then when right. they come when they going to come to the uh, landing already uh, 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 then they slowly stop believing <laughs> so this is stop 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 okay, okay, okay. and then they go down 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 the down. moment they touch they uh, believe uh, again uh, no the moment they touch they stop believing they become atheists no more no more the rest of their life because if they stop believing they will go up again oh i see okay okay uh. okay 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 it's like a hot air balloon lah that's how aeroplanes work yes. they are basically hot air balloons right yes, yes, okay yes. and if if the pilot sleeps yeah Ah, uh, then the co-pilot has to believe a little bit. Has more. to believe more. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, that's why they always have two. Ah, uh, that's why. So sometimes the belief three. is more. Sometimes three, depending because sometimes when you get older, your belief goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes you might be having problem. You might, uh, you might having crisis of faith. Exactly. Your dog died. You okay. know. Correct. You. Okay. <laughs> Faith-based aviation, lah. <laughs> uh. Oh, fuck yourself. This <laughs> is engineering, lah. Sure. Sure. This See, is... I I knew all engineering was cocked. Yeah, this is hundred percent. <laughs> 11 minutes later the okay. airplane approached the state of the start of Vietnamese air traffic jurisdiction okay the controller at Kuala Lumpur center radioed in Malaysia 370 contact Ho Chi Minh 120.9 okay good night okay okay this meant that the plane was instructed by Kuala Lumpur to signal Ho Chi Minh mm-hmm. as it as it was about to enter Vietnamese airspace okay <clears throat> so the way planes work is once you cross airspace you hand over to their traffic yes. controller so, and then you hand over you hand yes, over you hand yes. over okay. so different works okay okay stop it no no now you stop believing the malaysian god and the vietnamese god now is a uh, okay vietnamese ah. god okay ah. because, okay. because the malaysian god cannot control the, that one is only in malaysian ah. airspace there's, there's a lot of god god in us i you're wrong <laughs> 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 that one you're not wrong <clears throat> uh at 119 am Zahari answers good night Malaysian 370. Okay. He didn't read back the frequency as he should have which is a little unusual. Okay. Because he needs to uh, the Ho Chi Minh one they, they will read back the okay the the thing. So <clears throat> you are supposed to say that lah when you hand over. When you basically they the 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 tower will tell you okay this is so you hand over to Ho Chi Minh this is the frequency. Okay. Now the pilot will repeat back saying okay good night I will contact Ho Chi Minh at Oh like an acknowledgement lah yeah. okay 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 So he didn't he just say good night okay Ciao bye ah uh, so but otherwise the transmission sounded normal okay the plane maintained its altitude it was the last the world would hear of them on MH370 mm. So at 1:22 a.m. after the plane crossed into Vietnamese airspace okay its transponder symbol dropped Malaysian air traffic control it dropped off Malaysian air traffic control screens okay <clears throat> which means they couldn't <clears throat> track it lah yeah lah they gone right, right. Mm-hmm. and 37 37 seconds later the entire airplane disappeared from radar right mh370 had two transponders so even this was very unusual so usually if one goes off they mm-hmm. will have another backup yes that's mm-hmm. How planes are lah. Yes, if okay. you watch Con Air, okay, you would have known this. I did watch Con Air. Ah, uh, you multiple times. Ah, so you know they turned off. The I was not paying attention. And then the other one kicked up. Oh. Ah. Okay. 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 Ah. I thought that was only for the Con Air plane. No. 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 It's no. A... Because you have to understand. Okay. It's a Michael Bay <clears throat> movie. Okay. You cannot one hundred percent believe what you're watching. Also, also Nicholas Cage. True. also Nicolas Cage right uh-huh. because Michael Bay makes shit movies with no logic at all and just adds crap you know like his documentary about no, Transformers no, no, is a good one no 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 i i i love a lot of the older ones the, the transformers what is that the transformers Go fuck yourself the a hey, don't talk bad about that Go that documentary ah huh? okay he's only had the best movie is the rock and we all know it 
Okay, that one, yeah, 100%. Okay, continue. This is, this is, let's I, not make this a Michael <laughs> Bay <laughs> of podcast. Yeah, yeah, let's not. Uh, <clears throat> Kuala Lumpur was dealing with traffic elsewhere and it simply did not notice. Okay. Just like, oh, okay, okay. When they finally did, they assumed the airplane was in the hands of Ho Chi Minh, somewhere beyond its range. Okay. Right? So, Vietnamese air controllers saw the plane cross into their airspace and then disappear too. Oh. Apparently, misunderstanding an agreement where Ho Chi Minh was to inform Kuala Lumpur immediately if an airplane was handed off to them was uh, was over five minutes of checking in late. Okay, so when there is a handoff, they have to tell the previous airspace or ah, so like, right? okay. hey, no, this pl- you just handed off this plane to us. Mm-hmm. It's been five minutes, the fucker never called. Okay, ah. okay, okay, okay. They tried repeatedly to contact the aircraft, but to no avail. Okay. Right. By the time they picked up the phone to tell Kuala Lumpur, it was 18 minutes later. Oh, wow. Okay. Ah. Because usually this happens very quick. Like you said, within yeah, five, five minutes. minutes yeah. Okay. At this point, MH370 vanishes from radars in KL, Ho Chi Minh, and even Bangkok. Shit. So it's no longer on radar. It's okay. just like nobody can find her. At 1.37 a.m., the plane's aircraft communication and addressing reporting system, or ACARS, mm-hmm. a fax like communication system, failed to send a status report, which it does every 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. So a former correspondent for the Atlantic and professional pilot, William... Oh, I believe in you, bro. I believe in you. You can do this. No, I like the way... You see, the way Rakib wrote this was that he even put the pronunciation... For in, you. In brackets. In, oh, for you. Parenthesis. Oh, wow. So he says... Oh, no. So he so so as as Rakib was writing, he knew you he were... He knows. He knows. He knows you're a dumb fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. he, he knows. But also... Professional pilot. Okay, so he, he wrote probably pronounced language. How is it spelled? L A N G. L A N G. E W. E W. I E. I E. S C H E. Uh, yeah, nah, no way. I'm not getting that as well. So, language. Sure. Okay, but he said aggressively because German. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, so language. Uh, you have to shout la. Uh, language. Uh. Okay, so he said. What ensued was an exercise in confusion and incompetence. Oh. You know, because trust me, the incompetence in handling this thing. Okay. Like, I understand this does not happen always. This, yeah. And probably this was the first time to happen to Malaysian Airlines. Yeah. And they didn't know how to handle it, but the incompetence of which it was handled. Okay. The, okay. the which sub- is what this story is about. Yes, like, yes. Right? So now I, it starts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. First okay. of all, the Ho Chi Minh also like 18 minutes later only told KL. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. KL thought, oh, you're gay. Where yeah. no, you are? Where? Because they went ready. No, you sh- it was a very tragic story what happened in MH370. Yes. So that one is 100% not going to be jokes. No, 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 no. 100% no. But the handling. The handling of it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so oh. let's go. Oh, so now that Harpoon in the cock would be better than this. I, yeah. Are you okay? So we've established the story right now. People know mm, that's, that's how they I, okay. That's the this how the plane vanished. Okay. Okay. Kuala Lumpur's Aeronautical Rescue Coordination Center should have been notified within an hour of disappearance. Okay. But by two thirty a.m. Remember, this is already an hour. Okay. It has still not been informed. Why? Uh. Okay. Sure. I have a feeling mm-hmm. that sound you made uh-huh. is going to be the answer for almost all of my questions. Oh, no, 100%. Soon, the most expensive search... Wait, sorry. Four hours elapsed before an emergency response was has was finally begun. Four hours? Yes. At Four six, hours after mm-hmm. an aeroplane went missing. Went missing. At 6.32 a.m., <clears throat> after missing its scheduled arrival in Beijing, only then was it officially declared missing. <clears throat> why Why wasn't anybody talking to anybody in between? No, because they thought like, okay, it, it vanished. Maybe got a problem with the, this thing, but they'll show up lah. They'll yeah. show up at the end. Okay. No. They'll show up at the end. You have all these protocols, you should stick yeah, to the no, protocol. No, it will arrive. Don't worry. Six, okay. Hey, it's, a, it's supposed to arrive 6.30, right? Okay. You wait, you wait. 6.30, you wait? You okay. wait. So they were all just confident lah. Yeah. That a plane which went missing from their systems... Mm. Like with a flat tire or something. Would be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Four like, fucking like seven, hours. Seven people just pushing the plane coming, you know? Sure. So like, we, hey, so guys, we ran out of petrol, guys. Sure. Yeah. 
okay this is okay i did not know they only started talking about a plane going missing after 4 hours of it no because we only realized when we got up in the morning one before the night or nothing no but these people whose job it is kabin <laughs> New, yeah, yeah, they knew it. They should see. know every a- aviation as, mm. as as much as I know, and I don't know much. Uh-huh. But I know that they everything is uh, uh, like tip top. Like you need to be accurate. No, God will handle it, lah. Fuck me, lah. <laughs> so soon, the most expensive search and rescue in all of aviation history would commence. Okay. The search in initially focused around the area of MH370 initial disappearance mm. between the South China Sea and the Gulf of Thailand. Okay. Somewhat off the coast of Kelantan. Right. It was an international effort with 34 ships and 28 aircraft from seven different countries. All right. I say all started searching yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. A day later mm. they were searching there. Okay. One day. One okay. Day. One, a day later the chief general of the Royal Malaysian Air Force announced that Malaysia was analyzing military radar recordings that was a possibility that MH370 had turned around and traveled over the Andaman Sea so it went the other way so yeah basically what they saw was up it, here and then it went they they, they think that it turned back okay. right? so turned back and then went to the Andaman Sea which is Shh, after Sumatra sure right and this was only a day later okay right only the, one day later only they decided hey you know what let's check the Hey guys, you got satellite, right? Mm. Like, can you check for a while? Mm. Just, you know, as soon as at least they could have checked that as soon. No, no, no. They had to wait lah. Like, everybody wake up, I guess. Ah. Two days later, Bomo Ibrahim Madzin. Why wait lah? Uh? No, this is very ah. important part. No, 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 hold on. Ah. hold on. We were talking about uh, satellites mm. and radar mm. and this. person and this uh, air traffic and all that why mm-hmm. the fuck is a bomo in the situation in this story now oh no no it's he's very integral part of it what of of ah okay because two days later bomo ibrahim madzen a bomo held rituals to help locate the missing plane at klia okay out of everyone who is supposed to do their job mm-hmm. this fella is the only one i think where it was not required yeah Yeah, he, 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 he. not a single person needed him to be there doing anything. Huh? He went beyond his field of duty. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He was self-declared Raja Bomo Sedunia Nujum VIP. Okay, self-declared. Self-declared. That part is very important, huh? No, because Raja Bomo Sedunia okay, sir, Nujum yeah. VIP. Okay. Hey, I also can self-declare myself, right? Then. Ah. Uh, or in English, the worldwide king of all VIP shamans. Okay. I am that means I am Raja Bomo Sir Solar System lah. Solar System. How? <laughs> who win now? No, you tell me who win now. No, no, you see later who win. <laughs> okay. Oh, And bearing the self-anointed title of Dato Mahaguru, or esteemed Grandmaster. Wait, you can simply call yourself Dato. Ah. Can? Oh, you don't need to apply already nowadays. No, I mean recognition is the only thing difference lah. Oh, but you can still simply. Call oh, you can. Yeah, I can call you. Hey, Tansri, what's up? Hey, fuck, I saw one lah. Ah, huh. no problem, bro. You yeah, want tune? Want you want tune? I can give you tune. No, no problem. I don't tune. Tune, don't. I don't tune. Why tune? Too much responsibility. Okay. Too What responsibility? Too much fake responsibility for me. <laughs> What responsibility? There's a lot of fake responsibility being a fake tune. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot handle. I cannot handle. I will settle with Dato or even Dato. Da- yeah, isn't it the same thing? I don't know. I, is there a level of like hierarchy within the Dato community? I'm sure God. Da, there's Dato, there's Datu, there's Dato. Yeah, there's Dato. Ah, so I I am very sure God. Ah, they have different things, maybe different states. Yeah, no, it's definitely different states. But ah. I feel that right now in mm. this country, if any Tom, Dick, and Harry can get, mm. which it seems that way. Oh yeah, hundred fifty thousand. Then. I don't think we need to care about this. Anymore. No, but I just want to know: is there a hierarchy? Like, if you let's say you you get two offers, right? One for a dato and one for a dato. Ah, uh-huh. which one you want? Like, you know, you have to choose I one. I think like, you would choose dato lah. Yes, sir. Because easier to print the name. <laughs> Safe cost. <something. laughs> one less alphabet. One, one less. Okay, alphabet. fair. Hey, no, no, no. Actually, you still need to put that. The apostrophe. Unless they 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 charge the apostrophe free lah. No, but sometimes got apostrophe, sometimes don't have. Oh. Ah. And also, you can print it without the apostrophe and put yourself. 
Jenna, if you want really want to save money, that's true. I mean, you just use a pen, a plastic pen, you know. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I still think it's all uh, rubbish. Okay, the Star newspaper okay. reported that he was aided by several assistants using Zam Zam water, okay, right. a magical walking stick. Okay, sure. What was magical about it? Uh, that he was a walking stick. Okay, why was the walking stick magical? Did he go on a quest? No. To find it. Yeah, well, he went on a was quest to find it. Was it given fu- to him by a grand wizard in a cave dying somewhere and said, the you grand- are now the Shazam? <laughs> the grand wizard actually wore a pointy mask. Oh. That kind of grand wizard. No. Right, yeah. So it was... And oh, also no. he did go on a quest to find the reasoning that it was magical. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. It was so, a journey of words. So let me then just preface this by saying everything that he says he has... Uh-huh. Is again self 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 proclaimed self proclaimed. Okay, okay sure. so Zam Zam water, sure. a magical walking stick. Okay, plus one or plus two <laughs> <laughs> to attack. No, plus three. Oh, plus three to attack. Huh? Plus three defense. Oh, plus three defense. Ah, uh, he's a tank. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, a carpet. Okay, I saw got one in the house. And the infamous pair of coconuts. Ah, uh, this one I know. This, yeah, this, this, this the the fuck layer. Yeah. 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 Uh, at KLIA's Anjung Tinjau. Okay. Or the viewing veranda. Okay. Uh, attracting a crowd of people. Yeah. The purpose of the rituals is to weaken the bad spirit so that the rescuers can find the plane if it had indeed crashed. There are no... You are searching a gigantic square mile area. You know, it's more than a square mile. Lah. No, no, like like, yeah, like yeah. multiple, oh, okay, like okay, thousands yeah. of square miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah. there's enough spirits, bro. I don't yeah. think any spirit will be like, okay, we will go to this quadrant <laughs> and this quadrant and catch out them. Yeah, yeah, so the, what, what, what reasoning okay. would a spirit have uh-huh. to disturb an international effort, flight search? flight search effort? The spirits, no, la, bro. Like if someone say, "Oh, a spirit wanted to catch out you in your house because you accidentally like uh, insulted some I don't know person, mm-hmm. or you disturbed a grave, uh. you know all kind of horror movie shit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, I you kind of brought it on yourself. Yeah, fair enough. It's your fault. Okay. Yeah. How many countries? Seven countries. Lot, Twenty-eight militaries. All that. What the. F- what the spirit gonna do, bro? <laughs> the spirit also be like, you know what? You've got battleships there, no? The spirit will be like, ah, it's fine, lah. In fact, you know what? I'll join you in I will, searching. Can I help? <laughs> can I help? Like, yeah, look, spirit. Fuck you. I have powers. No, the dumbest thing mm. is there are people still alive now in mm. 2022 who believe shit like this. Oh right? yes, uh, some of uh, some of them are in my family. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and these are the same people who basically uh, in my family uh-huh. who believe this shit who are anti-vax because they believe that if you take somehow it all goes hand in hand it, you know? no they believe they believe that if you take the vaccine mm-hmm. they want to control your mind ah uh, okay you believe in BOMO no? yeah, yeah yeah nobody wants to control your mind I I always thought that it would be nice if if these people who believe in weird woo woo shit like this ah uh, woo woo right woo 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 ah okay 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 you okay, okay. ah no proper intonation again sorry yeah, 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 yeah I didn't do the rhythm I didn't do the tone I didn't do the tone right who believe in shit like this you wanna believe believe lah but when it also believe things that are correct. Correct. No, correct. 100%. Right? Don't don't only believe the things that are wrong. Like you also believe the things that are correct. Right. Correct. No, you're right. You're right. right? Like, they, they, then you believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. It's just like, oh, people want to control. You are dumb. La. Yeah. You are the stupidest person I met. Yeah. I don't want to control your mind. Yeah, correct. Okay? In fact, nobody wants to control your mind. Uh. Can you please, in fact, get someone to control your mind? Yeah, because you are definitely not in control of yours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the purpose of these rituals is to weaken bad spirits, right? Sure. So Ibrahim said the rituals were used for many generations, claiming that, claiming to be doing it on its own, on his own free will, despite the reports that Malaysian leader had invited him. He used binoculars made of bamboo. Yes. Okay. And a fish trap. Yeah. 
during his first session with the rituals. So he's actually really good at DIY lah. Oh, la. fucking good, la. right? Just, I'm surprised he didn't use toilet rolls. Yeah, you know the the the, the cardboard. The oh, the cardboard. Oh no, cannot, cannot, because that one not magical. Only bamboos are magical. It's a good one. You have to understand. Bernama reported that Ibrahim, who claimed 50 years of Bomo experience, right? He was 56. Uh, okay. Oh, he started young, lah. I mean, look, in 50 years of Bomo, he started irritating his parents. I think, lah, from the very beginning, he's like, "Hey, no, this one is a spirit. I can help you. Like, can you shut the fuck up, you Bomo guy?" Uh, grew popular after offering his services to search for the victims of several major cases, such as Highland Towers tragedy and the Mona Fendi murders. Okay. Whatever. Uh, so on the same day as the Bomo's rituals, Hollywood actress Alisa Milano. This story is taking so many turns, lah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alisa Milano, who played a witch herself. Okay, what the? F- okay, <laughs> yep, yep. No, no, no. Okay, they, it won't go that far. Uh, who played who who played a witch herself on Charmed would go on Twitter to ask, I mean, where the fuck is the plate? That's what she put on. Okay. Okay. With fellow actor Will Wheaton. Okay. Will was in on this or so. Ah, uh, he also okay. All right. Responded with. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sure, Will. The 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 that's all they wrote, right? Okay. Will's usually way more talkative. Than <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Ah, uh, the Straits of Malacca, the Andaman Sea. And Someone who was an actual witch also is asking, "What the fuck do you think this Bomo can do?" Ah, huh? let me ask you. I mean, she played a witch. She's no, not an no, actual no. witch. Yeah, for how many seasons? She in Charmed is not a you, documentary. Okay, huh? you have actually <laughs> seen her use powers. No one has seen this fucker do anything. That's a very good point. Okay. No, no, no. Ah, uh, uh, the Straits of Malacca, the Andaman Honestly, Sea. If it wasn't him and it was Alisa Milano <laughs> trying to help the search effort. I think I'd be okay with it. I, I won't I know, lie. Hundred no, percent. I won't lie. Just I am imagine, very biased. Just Elisa Milano and Will be together. <laughs> no, no, I don't will. I don't will. No, he they come as back. No, 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 no. Fucking Wesley Crusher can stay at home. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <Who, laughs> wasn't he on Charm as well? He might have been there. This. Oh, was he on Buffy? Buffy, yes. Buffy. No, they are. I, I, I think one of the Whedon shows. They are all um, the nerds lah. These are the nerd shows, so they all know each other. Uh, but no, 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 no. Alisa Milano definitely. I'll be like, no, all three. Of I'm them, going to turn no, up. No, what, what, no, 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 no. I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't. I, care. I really like Alisa Milano is hot. Go give it up. No, no, she's Rose, only one. Rose, Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan. Uh, now she. Now whatever. Not so much. I just okay. Okay. Anyway. The Will, of- sorry, can I just ask one more thing? Sure, sure. Because the story I feel is going to upset me immensely. Uh huh. Will turn up again anyway? The story is no, no, no. I think that's it. Ark. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. He, they might. Sure, they might. Uh, the Straits of Malacca, the Andaman Sea, and the uh, Bay of Bengal were all searched for any sign of the plane by a multinational team over the next few days, but right. to no avail. At the peak of the search effort, before the search was moved to the South Indian Ocean, twenty-six countries were involved in the search, contributing an aggregate of sixty ships and fifty aircrafts. Wow. Okay. A huge, huge effort, lah. Mm, yes. Okay. okay. Was this? This is one of the most high-profile planes going missing. Like that, 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 that. I think it's been decades since a yeah. plane went missing. I think the last one was uh, Air France. Okay. That went missing, but they found it five years later. Okay, they found it. Like they found the black box, lah. Right. This one, they still haven't found the black box yet. Okay. Ah, uh, I will get to that later. Uh, the next day on March thirteenth, the British satellite telecom firm Inmarsat, mm-hmm. uh, provided Putrajaya with an initial anal- analysis of MH three seventy satcom signals. Okay. Uh, Putrajaya then discussed the information with US investigators and agreed to allow US to investigate the data. Okay. A day later, Putrajaya admitted they were likely looking in the wrong direction. Oh, All former right. prime minister and convicted criminal, I have to say, Najib Raza announced <laughs> that his first press conference uh, announced at his first conf- press conference on the matter that Royal Malaysian Air Force primary data showed that an aircraft which was believed but not confirmed to be the MH370 did indeed turn back. This 
movements are consistent with the deliberate action by someone on the plane. Okay. Review of the military data revealed that around the point of its disappearance, MH370 took a slight turn before turning hard left and back towards the Malaysian Thai border. Okay, all right. It then flew along the Malaysian Thai border mm. towards the direction of Penang Island. Mm. According to Clive Irving, uh, writing for the Daily Beast, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's a thing. Okay. <clears throat> the new navigational heading taken by MH370 was identical to the to what is to what is named terminal primary approach for the nearest airport. So Which means it wants to land. Yes, it was like it looks like it yeah. wants to land. Okay. Sultan Ismail Petra Airport in Kota Baru, Kelantan. Okay. Okay. It would have been it that would have been the first choice for an emergency landing at night. Mm. But instead, the airplane blew past this high, uh, blew past this at high speed, and moved along the Thai Malaysian border towards Penang Island, almost six hundred miles per hour. Okay, just about eighty miles per hour below the speed of sound at thirty thousand feet. So the flow was just boom, flying. Okay, yeah. despite its sharp turn, odd flight path, at blistering speed, mm-hmm. it raised no suspicion from the Malaysian military radar on March eighth. Why? On account of being identified as friendly, so they saw it. They saw the plane. They were like, ah, shit. "Wait, wait, wait!" Saroko, look, bro. So the normal air traffic set com and all the transponders turned off. They couldn't see it anywhere. They yes. don't know it went yes. missing. Yes. So military radar actually saw the plane after all that happened. Yeah, they saw the plane going back towards Penang. Yeah, they were like, "Yeah." Okay. That's our bro. So why everyone say we don't know, we don't know, we don't know what happened, where it went, but these people knew why now and it's already coming out. Exactly. Oh fuck. Uh. Oh okay. Ah. Uh. Senior Boeing seven 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 pilot and instructor Simon Hardy, speaking on to sixty minutes in Australia, said that if this detection had happened in the US or UK, a fighter jet would have been set, would have been sent to MS three seventy in twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, plane, it's an yeah. unidentified plane. Yes. 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 It's an unidentified Boeing seven seven seven, right? So how did they know it's friendly? They just decided. They it was just friendly. assumed it was. Yeah, friendly, lah, bro. Kawan, bro. Uh, you okay? Ah, all right. So that's what the military does, right? They just assume. Oh yeah. Things, isn't it? Indeed, uh, Royal Malaysian Air Force squadron of brand new Sukhoi Su. The uh, 30 MKM fighter jets yep. stationed at Gong Kada base mm-hmm. between Kelantan and Terengganu would have been ideal for this. Their powerful radars have detection range of 400 kilometers, and the jets have maximum flight range of 3,000 kilometers at high altitude. No, those are good. I mean, oh, the Sukhoi's are I mean, great. The Russian lah, but they're good planes. But they didn't scramble any jets not, when not they saw friendly, this. Friendly, bro. Okay. All right. Mm. Finding the MS370 would have been. A piece of cake. Wait, I have a question. Mm-hmm. How they know it's friendly if the transponders weren't working? They just decided, lah. So they saw the blip on the radar. They saw it, but because I'm assuming mm-hmm. uh, you said the transponders weren't working and that ARCS. No, okay. This is how radar works, right? Radar no, works. What 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 I'm asking is the was there any information? No. Coming because... out of what the plane was no. number nothing. Nothing. So they just saw a plane and said it's probably okay. Yeah, coming into Malaysian airspace. No problem. Okay, unidentified. All right. Try to contact nothing. All right. No transponder. No information. They okay. So when I was working on the ship, the radars were the restaurant. <laughs> well, also there. The uh, restaurant. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, but the radars work in the sense that they will ping a noise. Yeah. Whatever comes back, we will read. Right, so we know the distance. We will know the shape also up okay. to a point. Okay, yeah. Right, yeah. So that's the thing. You saw. You know, it's a plane. Okay, you but know, you don't know who. You don't know what plane. You don't know because what will the radar transponder will then transmit to the radar itself? What? Okay, this is ah uh plane. This is this. This is that. Yeah, and all the information. But, but this was being turned off. So, so because all you see, no signal coming back, uh, you wouldn't have gotten that information, all, right? Yes, okay. all you see is a blip. Now, okay. it could have been anything. Yeah. So wouldn't you check? No, it could have been a North Korean plane, but yeah, no, but yeah lah. So check maybe. Uh, but this didn't happen. One theory was, according to former 
Air Force pilot Major Ahmad Zaidi of RMAF Butterworth. No pilot stays on the base at night. I'm mm, okay. No, we got no pilot, bro. I don't know, lah. I, I, you know my position when it comes to Malaysians being very yeah, Malaysian, yeah. doing Malaysian things, yeah, and and the Malaysian way of doing things, yeah. I am frustrated, but I cannot say I'm surprised. No, no, completely not surprised. I mean, they would have saw the thing. They were like, "Hey, apa ni? Ah, it's okay, lor, bro." Come back, it's not okay. Oh, it's gone. It's How gone. much money we spend on defense in this country that you don't have pilots on standby? Not enough. <laughs> have three. <laughs> no need. Maybe. Macha, look, listen. Call the fella. Okay, it'll take him twenty minutes to get to the plane. Yeah. Right. He has a motorcycle. Yeah. No. Or minimum. Or ten if he takes a toll road. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, you cannot expect that. Okay. But first of all, he at least he has a motorcycle. Sure. Okay. At least he has a cup chai. Minimum lah. Okay, now take the this thing, take one plane, go up there. Who the fuck is this? Look, can you please find out for us? Oh my god, I'm not, I, I'm not making fun of the military. I'm just, I don't like the way the Malaysians do uh, the this this Malaysian attitude of ayah nemain lah. Hardy speculated that MH370 might have avoided military attention okay. because it flew a straight path over a wiggly Thai Malaysian border. If, no, wiggly. So the Thai border is like that. Yeah. But he flew straight. Okay. So, uh, effectively moving in and out of two countries' juri- jurisdiction. Was that even a normal flight path? Uh? No, it wasn't. Nobody flies the border. I, so, I guess. so, 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 not a single person saw this happening and went. This looks fishy. No, they probably saw it and they were like, okay. Ah, uh, it's a Thai, Thai, Thai problem because it's over the Thai border. Then it crossed over to Malaysian border. It's like, oh, our problem? No, it's back to Thai problem. Yeah, problem. Our problem. That is suspe- That is that is grounds for <laughs> checking on shit, bro. Well, you know. Uh, however, Defense Minister at that time, Hishamuddin Hussein, talking to Australian TV, would later remark, "If you're not going to shoot down the plane, what is the point of sending an interceptor up?" Ah, uh, that is so dumb yeah, no no that, that is so dumb that is so normal to malaysian standards no that is just an excuse yes that, that's all it is every malaysian in this country now knows what a fucking politician's excuse sounds like ah uh, yes yes of course i mean right? we if know you, if 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 you if they did something wrong mm-hmm. and they got called out on it and uh. they don't know what to say and they don't know how to cover. This is how they cover. Yeah, if right? you're not going to shoot it down, for yeah, see? by coming out with with some 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 cock excuse like this. Yeah. Oh, if if we weren't going to do this, then uh, 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 what for? We even do this other thing. Uh, like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, it's like if you're not going to have a heart attack, why should I send the ambulance? Ah, yeah, 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 huh. yeah. Like if you, if if you're not going to buy the iPhone, why should I give you money? Ah, correct. Like correct, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're not going to buy the iPhone, right? I'm not selling it like this ah, Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like it's stupid. You go and check, and then yeah. you answer questions later. Ah. No, this one is like, ah, fuck it lah. Wow. I think that's our Malaysian policy. I love that lah. Our Malaysian policy is, ah, fuck it. Ah, yes, <laughs> correct. Ah. ah, fuck it. Ah, no need lah. Ah, no need. Ah. Later. Why, why would we, if you're, if you're not going to shoot the plane down, no, why, if you're not going to shoot the plane down, why scramble jets? Yeah. Great job. That's the same policy with everything lah. Yeah. Right? If you are not going to use the money to fix the country, why should you give it back? <laughs> why pay tax? Why pay tax? Yeah. Why don't we say that? Yeah. Why can't we do that then? Exactly. Which is, yeah, 100%. You know what? From now onwards, write to your local LHDN. They don't read. <laughs> okay. That's, they, 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 so, uh, you know, LHDN, I, I owe some money la, over the pandemic. I, I, I declared my tax. Sure. But I haven't paid. Right? Okay. Uh, because it was difficult for me to pay. Right, right. Now, they've sent me an email saying that, look, if you want to, this thing, call this number. If you want to, what, pay? It, no, if you want to pay or you want to make a payment plan, which I do. Okay. Uh, I have I have called that number for one week straight. Yes. Never has it rang. Yeah. It's always engaged. Always engaged, right? Then they said, okay, if you can't get through the number, send an email to this, this thing. I have sent a total of three emails over the past month. No reply. No right? reply. Yeah. Bro, Malaysian department, bro. Malaysian department, why would you ever expect 
a Malaysian governmental body. I'm telling you, take my money, you know. To do their work. So, yeah. It was also announced that MH370 last known location by military radar at 2.15 a.m. within the Andaman Sea. Okay, so it did turn back that way. It did turn back. Uh, 320 kilometers northwest of Penang Island and near the limits of where the radar coverage. Okay. On the same day, Wall Street Journal article said that MH370 continued to fly hours after it had last seen by air traffic control, citing it citing undisclosed U.S. investigations. Okay. Putrajaya initially... What is undisclosed U.S. investigation? They cannot disclose. La, they, it's private. It, it's, it's top secret. So some spy agency somewhere uh, in this region. La, la. Okay. NSA Probably. or CIA. Or sure. Whatever. Whichever satellite is spying on <laughs> Southeast Asia. Yeah, okay. Putrajaya initially denied the report. Yeah. Okay. Now, but speaking at a press conference, White House spokesman Jay Carney said, yeah. it is my understanding that based on some new information that is not necessarily conclusive, an additional search area may be open at the Indian Ocean. So it flew that far? Yeah. Okay. According to reports by the New York Times, Beijing then began to criticize Putrajaya's handling of the search and coordination and the flow of information. Hey, why? Why are they criticizing us for? What oh. we did wrong? Uh, have you not heard the past <laughs> how many minutes I've been doing this? According to the reports by the New York Times, or Beijing uh, starts criticize Putrajaya, the very next day, Inmasa states that they recorded SATCOM transmission from the aircraft for several hours after it disappeared from air traffic control over the South China Sea. Meanwhile, Malaysia Airlines announced that it was retiring the MH370-371 flight numbers and began using MH318 or 319. So they, they won't use that number anymore. No, okay. Wait, I don't care about the number. Yeah. The satellite still picked it up. Yeah. No, no, they, okay, so I will explain to you how the satellite works. Okay, okay in a minute. Uh, on March 15, in a press conference, Najib then admitted to the uh, Wall Street Journal report claims. So why they denied first? Because. So why the fuck you deny first this, so so this is the Malaysian government problem lah, yeah right course. if they don't know anything uh, they will say no no where have I got where I got no this no. this was are wrong uh, and then once you figure out you are wrong yeah then you go out and say oh yeah no actually they were not right. actually they were right but they still wrong okay uh, but we cannot tell you that we were wrong first okay no ah, okay. Najib then said that the search in the South China Sea would be ended and the deployment of assets will be reassessed okay now, Malaysia lacked the means and expertise to mount a subsea search and recovery as effort. All right. The Australians did because of the site's proximity to them. Okay. Thus, took charge of the search operation. Subsea. Subsea. Okay. Near the Perth, on, uh, north of Perth. There. Okay. Okay. So, at the peak of the search, search effort and before the search was moved to the South Indian Ocean, 26 countries were involved in the search, contributing to an aggregate of 60 ships and 50 aircraft. All right. right. Wow. Okay. Now, this is this is where the satellite comes in. Okay. While this was all going on, investigators continued to analyze the aircraft SATCOM records. Okay. Okay. The British Royal Aeronautical Society said that MH370's communication with the system stopped during its turn over the South China Sea, mm. suggesting all main electrical systems on board were disabled. Right. Okay. Now the MHC seventy would have to rely on emergency RAT or ram air turbine. Okay. It looks like a tiny windmill that can be extended out of a plane to supply just enough power to the aircraft. Okay. Okay. So now the the the, the electrical they basically shut off all electrical systems. Somehow it got shut Somehow off. Somehow it got shut off. Uh but there is still the emergency turbines which Generator is la, okay. on the engines. This meant that the MH370 flew along the time relation border at 600 miles per hour, which I said earlier, okay. during during a partial blackout. Okay. So that means the plane was blacked out, okay. but just emergency uh, this thing. However, three minutes after the military radar lost three MH370 over the Andaman Sea, its ACAR suddenly requested to log back onto Inmasat satellite and would not log off for another six hours. It responded to five automatic status requests. Okay, so it was sending a signal back yes. again. Now, yes, there were also two satellite phone calls made by an emergency dispatcher that would successfully connected, but went unanswered. 
Oh, shit. Okay, so this is what's happening. Okay? okay, yeah. So now, all when you switch off the electrical systems, that means the all transponder, radar, everything starts, starts off on the plane. Okay, right? yeah. So they cannot communicate with any satellite. They cannot communicate with anybody. Okay. Right? okay. However, there is the emergency RAT. Okay. Right? So the emergency, what happened is, in the engines itself, Boeing's engine is communicating with the satellite. Okay. Saying that we are here. That means it was still in the air. Yes. But it was just communicating in the sense of a ping. Just a ping. Yeah. Yes, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. here. Okay. So now, that was what they saw. But it's very inconclusive as in the fact that it's just a ping. So you don't know where the ping came from, how, where the exact location. Oh, you cannot pinpoint. You just know a signal went and was received. Yes. Okay. But however, they, they did lie, eventually figured it out, right? So apparently, there were also two calls made by emergency, this thing, to the plane via satellite, but it rang, but nobody answered. Okay, which so that means it had some power like, yes. still because no, of that the emergency. Thing, yeah. yeah. So this accounted for seven pings. Simple routine signals showing connected connection was established. Pings don't have location or directional data. Sure. Not seemingly, not seemingly useful at first. But anybody who has watched Hunt for Red October... Yes, okay. Okay. I know I know what's happening. Okay. okay. This is Rakib's work, obviously. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. He's a nerd as well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, anybody who watched Hunt for Red October knows one ping is plenty. Yes. Okay. So, like, rudimentary data or radar, investigators were able to measure the time the pings took to travel between MH370 and the Inmarsat... Indian Ocean geostationary satellite. Right. Okay. So they got one satellite. Yes. How long the ping? So you can put a radius. And then you can next triangulate. Ping, next yeah. ping, next ping. So you can you can figure out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These at least give specific distances over time mm. without directional data. Okay. Forcing to guess in all directions, plots MH370 MH possible locations on a globe as seven huge co-centric rings. Okay. The seventh ring furthest distance, therefore the biggest ring stretches okay. from Central Asia in the north to the vicinity of Antarctica to the south. Okay, that's a huge, gigantic area. Okay. It pinged at 8.19 a.m. KL time. Remember, the, the, the search started at 6.30. Okay. Okay. Using Wait, the, while they were searching... There was pings. So the plane was still in the air? Yes. While they were searching in the other side, the la. other side, the, 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 the other side. Oh, fuck! Yeah. So using wind speed and MH three seventy fuel limits, these circles could be cut down to a row of radiating curve arcs. Okay. Towards Kazakhstan, if the plane turned north. If okay. Or the southern Indian Ocean, if it turned south. Okay. Which direction did MH three seventy turn to? Mm. Using another rudimentary data, uh, radar technique, Inmarsat was able to use the imperfections on how Doppler effect and uh, co- and compensated for an airplane com- uh, communication computers to reveal a significant signal distortion, suggesting MH370 had made a turn south at 2.40 a.m. at the first ping. Okay. Okay. Also, after six hours, the Doppler effect data indicated a steep descent, five times greater than normal descent rate. Okay. Within a minute or two of crossing the seventh arc, the plane dived into the ocean, possibly shedding components before impact. Okay. Uh, therefore, most likely, last position of MH370, according to the data, would have been somewhere along the narrow arc within the southern Indian Ocean, southwest of Java and east of Australia. Southwest of Java, east. Okay. Okay. So Australia is here. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Holy so near shit. Perth? Yeah. So it was, it, you know, what they they got from this data was. So that, they did science, lah. Yeah, right. It was flying, okay, and it flew into the ocean, like okay. It, it just it just went into the ocean, yeah, yeah, and full speed, like rah, rah, rah. because it was it was traveling very fast, right? Yes, okay. but uh, as we found out, six hundred mm. miles per hour. That's fast, sir. Huh? It's, it's very fast. Okay, that is very very fast. Okay, okay. okay remember that one uh, one mile is one point eight kilometers, so six hundred times eight. That's a lot of kilometers. Yeah. Right? Uh, six hundred no, six hundred times one point eight, 1. 8 yeah. which will give you about one thousand kilometers per hour. Per hour? Yeah, a little bit wrong. 
Oh, that's like half of what this was do on LDP lah. Ah, yeah, <laughs> it's half of what the Kanchil can do. Kanchil. Uh, <laughs> uh, ten days after the MH370's disappearance, the Australian search team set out for the Indian Ocean. Sure. This would not be easy. Charita Patirachi, a world-renowned oceanographer, yeah. notes two cyclones in the area prior, causing a lot of mixing and potentially destructive ocean activity. Okay. Martin Dolan, former head of Australian Transport Safety Bureau, ATSB, led the search. Uh, he, he thinks that control inputs were unlikely at the end of the flight, which is why it probably went into a steep dive or the death dive scenario, as he calls it. Okay. Covered in 25 nautical miles either side of the final arc. Mm. The flight simulations shown uh, flown by Hardy also showed that if the plane runs out of fuel, it naturally begins to die fast mm-hmm. enough to go supersonic and crash into the ocean within two minutes. Oh, shit. Ending okay. up not far from the area of the seven arc. Okay. Uh, however, could not... Uh, this, however, could not reveal where or even why the impact had occurred. Okay. The analysis of Earth satellite imagery uh, just after March 14 had in fact revealed debris flo- floating on the surface around the su- southern Indian Ocean. Okay. The images were not sharp enough and despite multiple searches, the debris was never recovered. But the satellite images showed something. La. Showed something, yeah. Uh, such searches are hard even in good conditions. It took Two years to find the black boxes from Air France 447, mm. with that, which had crashed in the Atlantic in 2009, mm. even though the search crews knew where to look. Mm. Uh, even satellite images could be misleading. Images of clouds taken hours after the MH370 transmission revealed that what seemed to be a contrail of some distance right. away from the search area. But these were more likely shadows of clouds at an angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Controls cannot. The areas in the Indian Ocean and the. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you can. For those listening, it's a bit hard to make jokes when I'm just stunned no, by all this information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. I mean, look, we haven't even got to the crux yet. Okay, okay, okay. And I guarantee you, uh-huh. right now, this is part one. Part one, sure. Part one. Okay. Right? And okay. I told you already, it's going to be a three part. Yeah, that's a lot of parts. Okay. So the part one is basically infomercial. We're just giving. We just give, give you. You are you. You are just telling the dumbass like me what's happening. Lah. Yes. Okay. Sure. So basically, this is what happened on the day. Okay. Now part two, uh-huh. we will get to the search and rescue, not done by the Malaysian government or the Australian government. No, okay. by a private motherfucker okay. who decided to do everything himself. All because right. Because the rest of the fuckers they couldn't give a shit. Okay. And then the third part probably will get into. You know, all the stupid things. La. Okay, okay, okay. So, you're telling me I can get upset soon. La. No, we in no, the next episode. Fuck, you're going to okay, get upset. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, all right I'm here for said, that. It's, it's very inf- it, now it's very informational. Can, can, can. can, can. Informational. Can. Can. It's okay. I mean, look, everyone been asking us to do a matcha man there. We got a matcha man. No, no fucking fuck complaint. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Listen, it's hard to laugh at what's going on sure, now. This sure. is this is uh, the serious part. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's just take a deep breath. Okay. And, and digest his information. I'm sure a lot of people I, are learning stuff that yes, I didn't know. So. I'm learning how to read. And that one is every episode. Like <laughs> and I'm proud of you, you know? See how far we've come? <laughs> the areas of the Indian Ocean that satellite data pointed to, about 1,930 kilometers southwest of Perth, 1,930 kilometers southwest of Perth, okay. were so deep and unexplored that the first challenge was to map the undersea terrain well enough to allow sight scanning sonar vehicles to safely be towed miles beneath the surface. Because they need to search the, the bottom of the sea. Yeah, but they've, they've not. They've never done anything in Why, that eh? Because, look, the far. sea, not far, it's just sea. Big. I mean, no, the, the people say space is the next frontier, right? Yeah. Fucker, see you, so we're not just seeing Yeah, we're not just... Why, why they haven't mapped it until now? It's... Who going to go underneath... Build, go la, la, go and see, la, maybe got... Uh, uh, I don't know... The, the oil? <laughs> on top of that, according to... Uh, 24th March 2014 article on the star... Because that's where the truth comes from... Uh, yeah. What lies beneath the surface of the search area... In the Indian Ocean was even more chaotic. Okay. Quoting a Washington Post article... Matthew England of Climate Change Centre at the New South Wales warned that the area of the search 
was a deep area of the Indian Ocean with okay. rapid and complex currents. Okay. Above an ocean floor marked plenty of ridges and canyons. Okay. Okay. It's an eddy rich region, eddy current. Yeah. Uh, referring to the territory for the ocean's waters, swirl and whirlpool. Okay. Over long term average current, these little eddies that spawn off and have a life of their own. So basically, there's a lot of shit going on there. There's, current and shit. That means that entire area is just problematic. Lah. Problematic. Because it would just basically, it goes in there. It's like a washing machine. Okay. Okay. So you go, the plane, when the plane crashes like what it has, mm. right? It, it will probably into a lot of pieces. Okay. And those pieces, whatever floats will go one place. It's just random. Whatever lah. sinks yeah, yeah, yeah. will go another place. Okay. And whatever sinks deeper will go to another place. Okay. So every it will just scatter. Okay. So now you go down there and you search, nothing will be there. Okay. Right? So simply getting into the Indian Ocean is dangerous according to former Royal Malaysian Naval Captain Reza Rashid. Mm. The Indian Ocean is notorious for its incredibly rough sea conditions. Mm. Apart from chilling waters and 50 to 60 km per hour wind conditions. Okay. 30 foot waves are routine in the beginning of the winter month right. that the MH370 search was being held in. Mm. On top of that, it takes 60 days to sail to the seventh arc from the nearest dry land. Okay. 60. Sorry, six days. Six. That's, uh, yeah. I was like, they, are they using a pirate <laughs> ship? Uh? Are, they, are they rowing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking using a sloop? Or what? No, that's what I was thinking. 60 days is a bit. Wait, we, we sailed to Japan. Yeah. In like three days. Yeah. Like that's 60 days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was the numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you were in my head. I was 60 days. What? Then I read back of six days. Uh. Okay. Six days. Yeah. It's, it's far. Uh, it's far from land. Okay. However, if the crash did happen in those waters, mm. hydroacoustic stations could have perhaps tracked something. Okay. Four hydrophones used in the station near Australia actually did. Huh? Oh. Two being Cape Lewin and Rotness Island. Okay. Mathematicians and engineer Dr. Usama Kadri okay. suspected that the crash would cause an acoustic gravity wave. Yes. Or a big slappy fall down make big noise. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> fucking monkey. Say that again. Bastard. What did I say? Or a big slappy fall down make big noise. I mean, if you want to explain... The... So basically a splat. Yeah, like, if you want to explain it to idiots, <laughs> which is what we are, then I appreciate lah. What Akib just did. Yeah, correct. From a disturbance in the surface or the pressure of the ocean. Yeah. Hydrophones are used around the world to detect unsentient nuclear weapons testing. So Kadri requested all hydrophones recording of the Indian Ocean during the duration of the flight. Mm. This included recordings from the hydrophone in a tiny militarized island in the middle of the ocean called Diego Garcia. Okay. I like I like the name Diego Garcia. It's very no. very like, Yeah. The hello, name My name is Diego Garcia. The name is nice. You until killed my father. <laughs> Prepare to die. They might have. Huh? They might have. Yeah. The name is nice until you go and just do a rudimentary search on what Diego Garcia is. Yeah, it's a military base. And then you figure out oh no, because that was one of the theories, yes. theories yes. that the plane was flown to Diego Garcia. Yep. I was to say, I will deal with that later okay, in a later sure, episode. Sure, sure, sure. I don't want to get, I don't want to, uh, yeah, okay. But while the timing and direction of the sounds were consistent, the area of uncertainty was not, and the anonymous sounds they picked up were chalked up to more likely geological activity. Or whales. Uh, or whales. Fighting with each other. <laughs> Just Spread. swearing at each other. Meanwhile, recordings from Diego Garcia weirdly had 25 minutes gap in them. Mm. Kadri says that it seemed all three hydrophones at the base were seemingly shut down or malfunction at the same time with no explanation. Right. Uh, so okay. this is where it comes from. Lah. Okay. So as for MH370 underwater beacons attached to the black boxes, mm -hmm. they had 40 days of battery to power them. Okay. And the signals could be detected at 3,000 meters. Okay. But despite the autonomous subs being sent down and weeks spent searching, nothing was found. Even a multinational search team managed to look around 4.3 million square kilometers. Jesus. Okay. But nothing was found. As it turns out, in March 2015, 
an interim report released by the Malaysian Transport Ministry mm-hmm. mentioned for the first time, this is in 2015, now, this is a year after, okay. mentioned for the first time publicly that the battery for the beacons that had already ex- uh, for the beacons had already expired in December 2012 over a year before MH370's disappearance what so you okay so the black box wait they the black box on the plane yes was running with expired batteries yes why uh malaysian airlines uh, no 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 we have international correct um laws a- laws mm-hmm. as standards mm-hmm. safety protocols correct you fucking cannot bro you change the battery on your remote also the moment it doesn't do one thing lah yeah, yeah. this is a black box you know black box yes no not a single person mentioned this from no, from no, 2012 this is, this, this, this is 2015 came out no report that the batteries were already okay the batteries were already expired in 2012 right in 2012 okay. and now i'm not saying that this was the only plane that the batteries were expired no that's what i'm also thinking now no, no clearly it's all the planes but why the fuck would you not swap Change out your batteries the emergency batteries Yeah, why 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 not? Who is checking or not checking or are they checking and not doing something? No, let me ask you a question. You drive a car, right? Sure, Now, yeah. Your car battery has a 2 year lifespan. Yeah. Right? Or a certain amount of kilometers. Okay. I forget the kilometers. Like I said take 2 years. 2 years. Okay. Yeah. In that 2 years, do you it's still working you know. You after 2 years you still start no problem. Yeah. Right? Would you change the battery or would you wait for it to die first and you change? No, of course not. My my one my, I literally my car a few months ago it just started giving a little bit of issue. I want to change it straight. Okay. No fair enough because that's what you supposed to do. You know why? Why? Cuz like like you say that's why you cuz you got common fucking sense. Mm-hmm. Yes, correct. You see my okay, mine I have to admit my battery died yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, do a week ago. My battery died and I had to call somebody to come and change the battery, which is fine. First of all, my car is not taking 227 passengers on an international flight. Yes. Okay. Second of all, if my battery dies, guess what? I can call a fucker who will come to my house, change the battery, and I can go. No problem. This is a fucking black box, you know. Because no, that's what Malaysian Airlines is. It's not about it's not about whether they did it correctly or not. It's okay. the the decisions that they made. To make the minimum effort of having the plane be worthy of flight. Yeah, do your job. <laughs> do your fucking job. So over the weeks, the search was refined using the analysis of ocean drift as well as improved data on the flight path. But this remained fruitless. Yeah. The initial search of the surface waters ended in April 2014 after nearly two months of futile efforts, and the focus shifted. On the ocean depths. Okay, so that's the end of part one. Okay. Okay. Now, in the next part, would be the the search efforts after the fact. Okay. Now, remember that this uh, we we've already come to maybe three months since the since the disappearance. Okay. And this is what happened, lah. This is what happened. Yeah. Basically, the 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 incompetence of of the first of all the the army. The Royal Military Air Force. Yeah, I think based on this one also, we can see that the people involved mm. who messed up, yeah, were all predominantly from our side. Oh yeah, of course, hundred percent. Because we were we were the face of this. Yeah, I mean, there were look. It was flying to China, but it was a Malaysian Airlines flight. Okay. Right. So we were the face of this. Yeah. Right. We were the Malaysia was pretty much the the brunt of all this thing. Yeah. We had to show that okay for once lah. We knew already our our politicians were not competent. We knew that you know all this bullshit that we were going through in our own backyard. We knew Because all this. Because our politicians are so used to fucking never admitting anything. Right? Exactly. So right? we Ever. we were hoping up to a point like okay listen. The world is looking. Yeah. Just be competent for once, yeah. lah. For once. Yeah. Okay. People's lives are at stake. Just, 
Eh, cannot lah. Just, just is it? No, at, for at, what? And at first, at first, oh, we were like, what? at first, to be fair, at first, the first few hours and stuff, people were coming out, doing press conferences. You know, Hishamuddin was out there. Doing what, huh? Saying things to the camera. Okay. You know, at least, you know, you felt like, oh, they're giving us information. Yeah, you felt they're like they us. gave a shit. Yeah, you felt like that. You felt like that. Right? And then we thought, oh, you know, something's happening. Then slowly you realize, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> because then Wall Street Journal comes up with a report that says, like, look, we turn back and we were like, oh, I'm going to turn back. No, 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 no. Eh. One, you don't, eh, hey, you ah, yeah. jangan cakap apa-apa. Eh? No, we're still searching here. Okay. okay? We... We'll confirm it'll be here. Yeah. Hey, hey, you search and see. Ah. When you find them, you say, I told you so. Right? And then, and then next and, day, like, no, actually, yeah. So. Yeah, actually, you know what? It turned back. Uh, the other side. But now we don't know whether it went Kazakhstan or it went down. Okay, uh, we. I want to. I want to <laughs> save my whatever I think for the next episode. Oh no, you will get because I feel. You. you okay. Please, please bring blood pressure medicine. Okay, I will. Uh, yeah. Because the next one is about the search and rescue, not by. As I said, not. No, no, by, don't, 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 don't tell okay. me, don't tell me, don't tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I. All I know is I might need to take a break, lah. Oh yeah, that's why we're taking a break now. Okay. Okay. This is the end of episode uh, part one. Part one. Or season two, episode one. Yeah. Uh, of this thing, lah. But okay. however, yeah, like you, you, the worst part is this is just the the rim. We're just doing a rim shot on the rabbit hole. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. We we just licking the rims only. Okay. Stop it. Okay. It is unnecessary. Yeah. Unnecessary. Yeah? Very unnecessary. I you. thought we we're bringing it up for the second season on. No, no, no. This. We need to be better. Like, <laughs> okay. And part two, we, we will come out soon. We'll come out soon. No, no. This one definitely we will come out. Uh, all three parts, I think, will be coming out soon enough. Yeah. No, we. We'll, I'll put this one out first. Yes, yes. And yes. then. Uh, no, we don't have to tell them all this shit coming. No, we can cut now. Uh, no, fuck no, them. No, fuck them. I, I'm putting this on. No, why? You remember? Remember how last time you you said no, no, you fuck them. Put this on. I want them to know oh. the back. Now we have switch roles. This is what happens okay. in season two. Okay, because okay, now... This is the character arc. Okay, because now I'm like, this was... Fans uh, make a lot of noise. La. <laughs> I don't like... The death threat got you. Huh? The death threat got you. No, this is, I, I, not enough. <laughs> please make more noise. Uh, yeah. We would, we would, please, we would, we would, we would like more death threats. Yeah, right? so guys, also, uh, please turn your friends onto the podcast because we need more... People listening yes. and watching yes. and uh, watching. Sorry, what? How the fuck are you watching? What did I say? Listening and watching. Fuck you, lah. You know, you 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 think about it. Okay. Okay. I I yeah. Uh, you think about it. You think I'm about thinking, lah. Yeah, it's correct. But it still doesn't make sense. No, no, it's correct. It's correct. The uh, um, you know, get uh, share the Instagram with them. We the more engagement we get, the more fun it's going to be for everybody because we are also planning. We do this for the death threats. Yeah. Uh, because we're also planning to now that everything's going to open up again in Malaysia, we're planning. Uh, yeah, we want to do a live. Show. Yeah, again. Uh, yeah, let's. Yeah, definitely after these three episodes. Yeah, uh, so please tell podcast. a lot of your friends because the more people come to the live show, the more I, uh, people can see me verbally abuse Kavin. Actually, this episode you 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 were very toned up, very hard because I was yeah. shocked, yeah. stunned. I think this is why I chose this. Yes. For your safety, yes. if 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 you are going to talk, if it's going to go where I think it's going to go in terms of handling, uh-huh. you're fucking gonna get it from me next episode, <laughs> uh. You are gonna get it, lah. <laughs>